Welcome to Wellbeing and the Senses. My name is Rachel Garn, I'm an occupational therapist. For me, wellbeing and the senses go hand in hand. But first, when we think about our senses, we need to think about what our sensory motor fun is to be able to think about how that then relates to our wellbeing. So let's jump in. Understanding our own sensory motor preferences can help us better understand our students' sensory motor needs or those around us. We can all choose to spend our free time doing activities we find fun. And typically these activities align with what our body needs. So for example, many people love to move their bodies in dance or exercise, while others choose to rest and relax. Some people love to listen to music or TV, while others like the tranquility of no sound or reading a book. These are their sensory preferences. So let's now put those in when we look at the Wheel of Wellness. Um, the Wheel of Wellbeing.org is a really great wheel of wellness, so I'd encourage people to check it out. It has the areas when we look at the body, the mind, the spirit, people connections, the place and the planet. So if we think of the body, what did you do today to fulfill your movement, body's movement needs? This is our body's well-being. What vestibular or proprioceptive activities did you do to move your body that feels good for you? What are you doing right now to keep your mind active? What's sparking your interest? What's your mind well-being? That's so important to keep that curiosity and to keep that learning. In terms of spirit well-being, what are your senses thankful for today? So maybe taste or touch or smell or vision or hearing. So just what are they thankful for today? In terms of our relationships, building strong connections will support and enrich you every day. So people well-being is essential. Who are your support networks? How frequently are they in your life? Do they need to be the more frequently? Pause questions to think about. And then thinking about your senses. In terms of the world around you and the place, what are you feeling, touching, seeing, smelling, tasting, hearing? Just being aware, that sense of mindfulness and being present in the place you are. Really bringing that into that sense of well-being. Taking a moment to the world around you, that is place well-being. And then lastly, just looking at planet well-being. Research studies have shown that looking after a house plant has a very positive effect on your well-being. What else could you do for the planet that's having a positive effect, not only for the planet, but also for your well-being? My challenge to you is to go forth uh, with these ideas and think about what you can do right now, today, for your own well-being, taking into account your own sensory preferences. Good luck.